guys, welcome to this pre-built video and advanced roof tutorial in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I am building a leaf. A futuristic treehouse. Yes, I'm hardcore into the futuristic and spacey builds lately. But this build is kind of different because it's completely based around using the roof tool in the game. So yeah, this is basically an advanced roof tutorial. I've been doing a lot of builds lately with a lot of roofing going on and different shapes and different techniques and methods that I used and I got a couple of questions about it especially on Instagram so I thought it would be a cool idea to make a build completely based on that roof tool and in that way I could give you guys in this video some tips and tricks I could share some build techniques and the most important thing I found a method how to remove walls underneath the roof so you know when you place in a roof you always have that wall underneath it the basic shape of the roof well I found a method to remove it especially very easy to use when you want to do a tree house of course all later on in this video I made a decision to make this house like I said because I wanted to do a lot of roofing and build completely based around using that roof tool and everything the total shape of this house is completely made out of roofs of course not the deck in the middle of it but I meant the entire shape on the outside you can see it on the thumbnail and in the intro already and I named it leaf because I thought it, it it sounded a little bit cool and it looked a bit like leaves, like an organic shape of a leaf. And I wanted to start off with that organic shape. And yeah, these curves, these flows in the roof that I made, in the shapes, and the shapes that I made in the roof here. I used a couple of roofs and I combined them all together. You can see that roof on the top and one at the side as well and another roof underneath that upper roof. And I combined them all together and in that way I think when you use several roofs together you can make the curve even more fluid and more flowy. When you want to make that curve in your roof, when you select a roof you have these arrows when you make your roof bigger, you can make your roof bigger of course with the arrows. You have the smaller arrows, you can pull out the eaves with the smaller arrows, when you hold down the shift key where you pull out the eaves. You can pull out the eaves just on one side of the roof, but you have that small bubble as well. And with that small bubble, you can adjust the curve of your roof. But when you press in shift C, where you have that roof selected, you can even get more of these bubbles. You can, so you can make a more interesting shape with the curves in the roof. The shift C thing, I only found out about it about a year ago and it totally changed my game according to roofing and different shapes and especially for organic and fluid shapes like this. Maybe you saw it already how I did it, but I was talking about these organic shapes, but I already removed the walls underneath the roofs as you can see here. And the thing that I use for it are doors. It's very, very easy to do. The door that I use is one from Island Living, but it doesn't matter that much which door you use. I think it's easier, prettier when you use a smaller door, not according to squares, but according to height. And that Island Living one was not that tall and you want to use doors that are very wide. So I use one four squares wide, but you can use every single door you want. You want to place that door on the wall underneath the roof. So basically on the wall. Then you want to size down the door. You can size down items using the bracket keys on your keyboard. Before using the bracket keys, you want to type in the move objects cheat. Pressing Ctrl Shift C on your keyboard, you unlock the cheat box. In the cheat box, you want to type in bb.moveobjects. When you do that, you have the move, move object cheat enabled and then you can move around items while pressing down the alt key and you can size up or down items and you can raise them up or lower them down. So I placed that door on the wall and then I sized it down with the bracket keys. I sized it down as far as I could so I still had a very tiny door left on the wall but the entire gap that you made with the door on the wall it still stays the same size but you have 
a totally disappeared wall because you uh, sized down the door. But of course you have that very tiny door left. The thing you want to do then is to raise up the door all above your build so you cannot see it anymore and then you can remove the walls underneath the roofs. Of course you have that very small floating yeah, door all above your build so it's very easy to use when you want to do a tree house like this because you have a tree above your house so you can place the door just in the middle of the leaf so you really cannot see it anymore. Of course you still have the other walls where you didn't place the door on so you just want to rinse and repeat and do that on every single wall in the entire build underneath the roofs and in that way you can really make all these uh, walls disappear and it really works I tried it in the game as well I play tested this build later on of course I will put in some furniture here because I wanted to make this build functional as well and I play tested it it really works and I think you can really do some interesting things with it and yeah just do some some different things with it play around with it Another method that I use here, as you can see, I have a curved roof underneath the house. It's on a totally different height than all the other roofs that I've placed in here. When you want to place in a roof on a different height than just on a floor or on a ceiling or something, you have to place in a room next to the build that you already made. When you place that room next to it, really next to it, so you can adjust the height with the foundation tool without adjusting the height of the entire other build or the entire thing that you already did. You really want to place it next to it like I said and then you can place a roof on top of it. With that foundation tool you can lower the entire thing down or raise it up of course and in that way you can uh, place the roof at the perfect height where you want it. You can see it right here. Then when you have still have that room there and you want to pull out the roof because you raised it up or lowered it, lowered it down and got it at the perfect height. Uh, when you still have the room there and you want to pull out the roof and place it underneath the other thing that you built, you have that conflicting block clusters. It is impossible, but when you remove the uh, room that you made, where you place that roof on, when you remove that room, this roof is still on the perfect height and you can pull out the roof and really place it underneath the build that you already did. And in that way you can place different roofs on different heights. Make sure you can you do it at the very end of your build or at the, because where you do it at the beginning and you have that roof on the perfect height and then later on you want to adjust something in the original build like you want to place in a wall or a fence or something, it removes the entire roof that you just placed in. So that's very annoying so you want to make sure that you do it at the very end of the video. Or when you want to adjust something in the uh, build that you already did, you can pull out the roof, just pull it beside the build that you did, then place in a wall and then pull it back. And in that way you can make different roofs on different heights. I really made, I really hope I made a bit of sense. It's my first tutorial. I did one, yeah, I did one kind of before about how to make waterfalls, but it was at the very beginning of my channel so I still had a lot to learn then but I really hope I made sense a bit if you still have some questions about roofs or about methods that I used please let me know in the comments down below and I will make sure to answer them for you but of course the entire house isn't finished yet I wanted to make this functional as well I wanted to make it Yes, a build where you can play around with as well. I thought it would be a perfect spot for a spellcaster maybe. Maybe a bit of an elfish kind of spellcaster. If you have the Realm of Magic pack, of course. Or maybe an alien if you have get to work. Or maybe you have some different gameplay ideas for it. And that's why I wanted to make it functional too. So of course I placed in a very small kitchen so you can cook there. I placed in a mini fridge because a very big refrigerator it just looked a little bit strange. 
I made a very small bathroom and of course later on a bed too and a living room kind of thing, kind of situation. And a couple of these items I placed underneath the roofs where normally these walls would be that I just made disappear with placing in the doors like I just explained. And it really works like this bed that I just placed in. Normally the walls underneath the roof would be here but now I placed this bed in it. And your sim can really enter it, so that's a very easy method to use. So I really hope you had something with this video, you can do something with it, I wanted to say. And yeah, we're almost at the end of this video already, so I wanted to round up. I hope you will have a good weekend if you watch this on the day that I upload this on Friday. I hope you're all doing okay in these strange times. I hope I could distract you a little bit, make your day a little bit better. I hope Hope to talk to you soon next Monday with my next video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would really, really appreciate it. I try to do a lot of different things to keep you inspired for your own builds. But I love talking about different building techniques and methods and tips and tricks that I used as well. So if you like that, please subscribe. We're onto the screenshots already. So I'm going. Have an amazing day. Goodbye. Thank you.